Today I modified Lord Vampire's Castle for Halloween. Hi, I'm Brick to Rick. Welcome to our channel for Lego ideas, inspiration and instructions. Check out this channel for castle ideas and other seasonal videos and subscribe if you like this type of content. This year we've had a decade of the Monster Fighters range and I think they're some of the best Lego ever. So this Halloween season I modified the Vampire Castle for a larger Halloween display. Let's take a look. I parked a new black carriage outside and then started placing spooky trees, coffins, minifigures and other details to make a graveyard in front of the castle. The castle is my own design but I added the ghost train for good measure at the end. Now each part in turn. I decided to recommission this carriage for Lord Vampire as it's too cool to leave out. It actually comes from this Fantastic Beast set, Grindelwald Escape, but I got mine without figures. The Thestral creature pulling the carriage at the front looks rather unpleasant and scary. The zombie driver also looks a little bit menacing with a snarling grin on his face. Let's move the carriage out of the way to look up through the graveyard towards the castle. Here is a vampire waking up for a feed, perhaps he's Lord Vampire's brother. Now this small building here I think is supposed to be a mausoleum. Look at those stained glass windows. I pinched the design from the very rare The Zombies set and it really goes well with this look, especially with that glow-in-the-dark spider stuck on the side. On the other side of the graveyard is my bonsai tree with werewolf. I bought the bonsai as part of a deal online and I love the old twisted wooden effect you see here. I recommend that you buy a bonsai as they're very versatile for dioramas. Next we focus on these two graves and look who's escaped, Frankenstein's monster. This werewolf here has climbed up the tree from the Mirkwood Spiders set. Now here is the front of the castle. I designed this as an alternate build just using pieces from the Vampire Castle. This set is a brilliant gothic masterpiece and you can even change it to fit castle minifigures such as the Black Falcons that you see here. The original set includes loads of booby traps for the monster fighters to fall into. There's also Lady Vampire here, the Vampire Bride who casts lots of spells. There's also these strange flying bat creatures that hang off the rooftops. There's even a tower for torture, but I'm not going into that on my channel. Flying over the top, you can see the ghost train that seems to be out of control. The original set is pretty big, so I could only include the main engine, but you get the idea. I love the design of the ghost and the fact that they glow in the dark, along with loads of elements on the train itself. Again, this is a set I would recommend, but it's quite rare these days. I hope you liked my LEGO Monster Fighters display for Halloween 2022. Build something spooky. Give it a go.